I've been designing buildings in my sketchbook for many years, but I still get freaked out at the beginning of every project by the sight of a blank page. My sketchbook has always been the place where I start a new project, but in 2022, that sketchbook is an iPad, and that blank page is now a cold, cruel piece of icy glass, and my pencil is a ship on that sea of glass, and you know what happens to them. But designing buildings on the iPad has so many advantages, I'd be a fool to give it up. So today I'm going to show you how I start sketching freehand plans in Morfolio, but with a life preserver of being able to add scale to those sketches, even if they don't have scale when I begin. So the first and simplest kind of drawing you might make when you're designing and plan would be just what I would call the completely freehand sketch. In other words, sketches that you make, and I'm going to use a four-finger tap here to make the interface go away. Sketches you would make just during the normal course of designing, uh, very similar to what you might have done with a sketchbook in the old days. And the way I do this is just starting with, you can start with a blank sheet to take the example to its most extreme, so you're not worried at all about printing it out at a particular size. And I just usually pick a... Um, I like the pen because it uh, makes it very solid. It makes a very solid line. Uh, it reminds me of the old razor points that we used to use in our sketchbooks. Now here I've got the dotted line selected, but I'll go back to the regular line. And then I can, of course, do a two-finger tap to get rid of that. And I'll make it a little bigger than I normally would just to show the line clearly. But you would just start, in this case, I'll start with an idea of for a house where I'm going to start with the smallest bedrooms possible. Maybe that's 10 feet by 10 feet. And then maybe they're going to have a closet between them and this kind of thing. So there's no scale. At least when you begin, there's no scale. All you're using is a sense of proportions. So I know these are square because these are equal inside. And then if I think that's 10 feet, then I can come over here and I can say, well, maybe I'll keep projecting. And it's almost like you're making your own five foot grid. I'm just counting over so I could have a, if that's five feet, then I know that this is like three feet and maybe there's a stair, kind of a long, straight, very architectural stair that occurs. And that's another three feet. So at this point I'm at six feet. I don't know that for sure because I'm only worried about making that freehand sketch. And so I'll speed this up a little. Let's see if I keep working this through. And this is the kind of thing that might you might do in a coffee shop, just over a single cup of coffee, just to play around with ideas. And I can have a bathroom there, um, separating this bedroom area from the rest of the house. And then maybe if that's the bathroom, maybe it makes sense to have the kitchen on this side and on and on. So it's here's the island, of course. And um, this is a very typical thing. And when if, if I were to go back to those previous drawings you saw, uh, you could see how that plays out to its logical conclusion. And then you're going to add sections to that and elevations and other kinds of studies. But if I go back to that, we can get this far. But what's, what's great about Morfolio is that you can now take this another level. Let's say I know that that's 10 feet. I can go to their scaling feature and I can drag these inputs right to that 10 foot point, or I can be safer. I suppose you'd say, let's say that you want to make sure your, your estimates of proportions are as good as possible. I can now drag that input crosshair all the way over here. So this is actually 20 feet plus the thickness of those, of those closets. So, just arbitrarily, let's call the exterior walls six inches and the interior walls four inches. So I have 20 plus six and six equals 21 plus two feet for the closet. That's 23 feet plus four feet each for these closet walls. So that's 23 feet eight. So once I orient these crosshairs, of course, I can come in here and tap in 23 feet and eight inches. I can tap. And then as soon as I hit this green arrow, Morfolio says, great, scale registered. You can now keep designing and I can even provide you with a scale. So if we use that scale now, let's see, the scale is 
That shows me my proportions were off, but my proportions this way are actually quite good. So here I am, if you can zoom in here, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a half. So 23, 6, 23, 8. But it's super freehand, so what's the difference, right? Now, you can go a step further with this now and go to the what I call the wrench menu, and you can set a grid. And up here, you'll see the same areas where you can input your distances. So let's say that I want to continue designing, but I want maybe a two-foot grid. So there'll be five divisions for each of these 10-feet rooms. So I can enter in here two feet. Then I have to come back over here and enter zero. And then I can tap out. And you can see that grid shrink right down into position. So I'll hit the green arrow again, which is necessary if I'm going to proceed. And now you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, and a little, a little less there and a little more here. So that grid is now working and I can continue to design now in proportion. So now all the, all the decisions I make, as long as I've got my pen chosen, I can come over here, I can start adding up grid sections. So here I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 25. And if I want to make this whole thing 30 feet long, now I've got 15, two foot or more. I guess I'm a little off with that, but let's see what I did. I'll bring up the ruler. And again, this wonderful feature of being able to tap the ruler twice and grab it and pull it around. So if we look from here to here, it's 60 feet because there are 30 of these small divisions. So that's going in and out of scale, but basically starting with a completely freehand sketch like you might have done on a paper sketchbook all those years ago. Now let's look at the next way you can develop a design and plan. To see the next installment, click on the video on the left side of your screen right now, and more videos will be coming in this series on the most important drawings in architecture.